Hi everyone, Kirk here. I have been asked many, many times to show what I do to get the back of the LT up high enough to get the center stand off and to, you know, do a clutch, that kind of thing. And I, so I thought, you know what, I'm just going to show you everything that I do. First thing I need is a jack. Bottle jack. They work really, really good. Now you can use a car jack, you can use whatever. Adapt any of these things to your own thing. In fact, you might even have a system that's way better than mine, and maybe it's something I'll use from you. If you're using a lift, you need to tie down the front forks, okay? Make sure that you tie them to your lift so that the bike can't shift back and forth. Once you get it up in the air, it doesn't want to, you know, tip one side or the other. So that's very, very, very important. So I've already done that. I've already strapped this thing to the lift. It's not going to go anywhere. And now what I'm going to do is I am going to take this here. So you need something that is going to span between the side cases. Okay. I have this just a piece of wood here. It's just made into a frame. And it's enough that... I can, the reason it has holes in it, and it's not solid, it gives it a little extra strength, and I can also put uh, lights and stuff in here if I need while I'm working on stuff. So I have a, a block of wood that I use here as well, just to give this thing a little bit of added support. I'm going to put that thing roughly in the center, and where I'm going to set it on the bike is right up underneath the side cases there's two flat areas that are you'll, you'll see them when you're underneath but they're kind of like this leading edge on both sides is a flat area that you can lift from and not you know cause any trouble not cause any damage anything like that I'm gonna lift it up just a little bit and just to just to get it to where it's touching that's all now what I next is I'm gonna take a couple of jack stands and put it right here on both sides of my wood brace I'll go up a couple pumps here now you can see what's what I got going on here I'm gonna reposition the camera so you can take a look at the the center stand. Now I am going to continue to go up with my jack and I'm going to just kind of follow along with my center stands or my uh, not my center stands but my jack stands. I'm going to just kind of follow along once I get going up a little bit and right about the time that it starts to lift off I'm going to just make sure that both sides of the center stand are coming up evenly. This one is still touching. This one is, is already come off of the lift a little bit. And this is where I'm going to go in the front now and adjust my straps. Torque down. I'm probably just going to torque this side down on the front and it will straighten that out. So that way I've got a nice even lift going off of my lift. Now I'm going to lower it down onto the jack stands. There we go. Now on this lift, when I use my my scissor jack underneath the engine or underneath the transmission, uh, the the mounting plate, it it will lower the engine to pretty much a flat plane, and I'll be able to work on that. Right now it's it's kind of tilted this way because it's you know the back is jacked up higher. Here's kind of what the the finished product looks like. So this jack is now loose. I can I could remove this if I wanted to. All the weight is sitting on the on these jack stands. All the weight is being transferred right up into that little spot on the side bag which is connected directly to the frame. It's completely good. There's no no issues at all now. I can shake it back and forth a little bit 
And you see the bike moving, but the whole lift, everything's moving. It's not like the bike is loose. It's not going to fall over uh, unless something completely catastrophic happens. And God, I hope that doesn't happen. So I hope you got something out of this video. If you do, you know all the stuff to do with the liking and the subscribing and all that kind of stuff. But uh, more importantly, you can help sub uh, support the work that I do here by checking the links below. But that's all there is on this one. This bike is ready to go. I'm going to get this transmission out of here and see what's going on. So thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one.